Hey everyone, hope you're doing okay on uh, day 14 here. I think it's day 14. <laughs> Pretty sure it's day 14. I feel like I'm just kind of going with the flow here and jumping in and out of the day and busy, enjoying, you know, the launch of Turnleaf, a lot of good feedback. Um, you know, pretty excited about, about what I'm, you know, sharing. And I'm really hoping that, uh, that you are getting a little something from it. I know some talks are a little bit more heavier than, than others. And that really does just come back to, um, you know, my style and, and having those, those tough talks. All right. So yeah, day, day 13 was yesterday. We did get into the, you know, trauma, that intergenerational, um, the intergenerational karma per se that gets, goes from, you know, our great, great grandparents the, in, through the generations all the way down to our little ones, you know, that are coming up the, the chain here. So yeah, day, Day 14, I'm going to stay within the realm of, um, of that, that, that trauma and that awareness, because I really do um, spend some time on this within programming, because it is, it is important as we are able to really, it's kind of one of my superpowers is to able to recognize where somebody is today and then be able to link it with their experiences. And that comes with, um, that comes with a lot of um, evidence really in the way we um, cope, how we treat ourselves, what we say to ourselves, what kind of relationships do we have? What, what do we engage in? What we don't engage in? The avoidance piece, trust, worldviews, beliefs. I mean, I can go on and on and on. Um, but being able to link, to link that and, um, you know, give it, some, give it some awareness. And then again, what, what we're doing with that awareness um, and not just bringing it up and sitting in it but being able to really change that definition of how we take our stories um, along with us today and going forward, because we really do have the choice on what energy um, and light we put them in. Okay. So um, I really want to look at the relationship that you, that you have today. This is the uh, this is the piece I want you to sit with, is is that inner child, and what kind of attention are you giving um, your inner child? Because majority of our experiences and what we take onto our, our adults' lives in the present, in the future. This is gonna really stem from our experiences when we were, when we were young, okay? And I'm not gonna get into the psychology of it because I've only got 10 minutes here, but we really do set the core, the foundation um, of what our system is, what our beliefs are, um, what our views are, what we think of ourselves quite young. So again, based on the environments that we've, that you've grown up in, um, that really does set the tone for, for, um, for your life in all elements. But today I just want to acknowledge that inner child and, and what kind of attention have you been giving it today in your adult life and ultimately um, when we put ourselves back into that mindset and I know a lot of people don't want to don't want to go here hence hence the tough talks right hence many times it's because that's why we are stuck we don't want to talk about it we don't want to go to the place 
where we felt shamed, where we felt alone, where we were confused, where there was emotional and physical hurt. We don't, we don't want to go back there. And, um, and I understand that. However, what happens is based on the evidence that, I'm, that I've uh, seen within the work that I do, is it's coming up anyways. And if it's not looked at, um, and if we don't regain um, command over that, it really does drive that vessel. It is the operator of the decisions we make. And so I, I'm really empowering the collective here to um, understand that, that you, can, you can get that power back, all right? Um, but being able to put yourself in a place, a safe place, um, to reflect back on the time that you did feel alone, ashamed, um, hurt, confused, and really have um, that heart to heart with, with that inner child, with that small you. And because he or she, that little one, it looks up to us today because there, there's many times that that little child is in command of our actions and our decisions that we make today. And so what does this part of you say about yourself back then? If it's gonna ask, you know, just kind of sit with this. And I do this with myself, I do this with clients and being able to reflect back and say, what would this part of you say? Um, about yourself, you know, back then, give it some attention. Okay. And what does this part of you say about how you've treated this part of you up until now? This is a, this is, this triggers, this is the trigger here. And a lot of times when we do reflect on this piece, it's like, oh my goodness, I'm, I'm, I, it's, I haven't been saying very nice things about it. I've been putting it in a, in a dark light. I've been, I've been feeling bad for it. I've been feeling, I've been victimizing it. I've been um, feeding it with, with food and alcohol and drugs. And I haven't been very kind to this, this, this part of myself. And I avoid it. And I mean, up into really just visualizing exactly what you felt like, what you looked, what you, what you were saying, the emotions that came up, and then the story that you've taken along the way, okay? And so when we are, are um, providing some awareness, this inner child wants to be loved. This inner child wants to be healed. I do this a lot through meditation as well, this inner child work. And you can go on YouTube and, and, medit and, uh, and, uh, and look up meditation in all aspects. But the inner child healing, when we're able to save space for this child and visualize this child that was not supported by the adults in, in her life, that was shamed, that was abandoned, that really... Um, you know, you're, when you're able to hold that child and say, I've got you now, um, and I want to hear what you've got to say, uh, it's, it's so powerful, that relationship, to be able to, to redefine it. And then, of course, uh, I call it the shadow hug activity here, which is very much part of the programming that I, that I do. But then of course, you know, um, that hug, how does that part of you want to be seen today? How does it want to be seen? What does your inner child want to look like today? What does this part of you, what does, what does this part of you need from you today? And so that's, uh, I mean, and we, we, get, we get into, um, this is a lot of the releasing uh, part of it. And there's big workshops on this type of stuff because it's trauma work, right? 
Um, and I have a lot of tips, tools, guidance, um, you know, with, within the work that I do. But again, these talks are really to allow you to kind of peek into my world and, and the work that I do, the, the space that I provide, um, and how, what we're doing with this trauma. We're not just bringing it up and talking about the experiences. We are redefining the relationship that we have with our trauma, all right? And that's, that's pretty powerful in, in whole health. Um, if you look at even um, overeating, that traumatized little girl or boy, or under eating both. It's, it's the patterns are, you know, they come hand in hand, um, very much falls along, along these lines in terms of um, the, uh, finding comfort in this inner child, feeding that inner child because it feels good in the moment. And then of course, there's a lot of other things that come along with why your, um, you're overeating, why you are turning to things outside of yourself. It hurts to put yourself back to that alone little child, that abused, shamed child. And so we put a lot on top of that little child's shoulders and what we say about her. And um, can, reconnecting is a, is a big part is a big part of healing, reconnecting and redefining, and then asking what this, this little part needs from you today, today. And when you're able to nurture her, when you're able to nurture that little guy in you, um, you actually, and I do this through meditation, you can actually see the relationship built and it doesn't take, it doesn't happen overnight, but you can see that trust that that inner child starting to trust you again. And it's really important that we connect really, really, really important that we connect with, uh, with that. And then of course, um, rebuilding the relationship in order for the, the adult in you, the evolving you, to be able to say, you know what, I've, I've got you and, um, and I've, I am empowered to make um, different choices today. I am supported, I am wise, I'm evolving, I'm taking accountability and, um, and I'm gonna open myself up to, to, uh, to looking at the things, the actions, that I need in order to, uh, to not be shamed, not be alone, not be emotionally and physically hurt anymore. All right. So again, I get that, uh, you know, some of these talks are going to be to bring up some stuff, but I'm in the healing business. I'm working on healing humanity here. So this is, this comes up, this, this comes up and um, I want to provide space for that and um, to the people that are watching and that have been following. We are on day 14 here, so we're pretty much two weeks in. And so um, thank you for liking and sharing and sending me private messages. Um, there's a lot of private messages coming in because this, this stuff is, you know, Sometimes when we, we want help in this area, it's at first, it, it's, um, you're ashamed. You're ashamed and it's not easy to have these conversations. So, okay, I'm going to leave you with that today. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to your inner child. Give it the attention that it needs because it's coming up in the subconscious, whether you like it or not. And in order for you to physically and emotionally heal yourself, and I'm talking about if you've got anxiety, you've got high blood pressure, you've got diabetes, you've got, um, you know, your physical and emotional health is, is really um, a result of this trauma, of your experiences. 
Okay, you hold a lot of that in and it turns to dis-ease. It's, that's why they call it disease because it's the opposite of ease. And so um, when you're chiming into this kind of stuff and nurturing the parts of you that you haven't nurtured, you're gonna actually start to feel better, okay? So I'll leave you with that. I know I can chit chat about this stuff because I love it so much and it's my passion. Um, I see the collective hurting and, con and, and confused about a lot of the challenges and contrasts that they're going through and, and um, this is why I'm here. So sending you all the love, all that light and uh, we'll talk again tomorrow. Bye for now.